hi everyone so today we're looking at question 2 from story sheet 4 and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel kindly do so so that you don't miss out whatever that i'm going to be posting on the channel so the, the question is saying use synthetic division to divide the polynomials and write the function in the form px is equal to x minus k times q times x and then plus r where qx is the quotient and r is the remainder so using synthetic division you are requested to draw something like this let me just draw it properly yeah something like this and then after drawing something like that you you also have to get the divisor which is this number here and then you equate it to zero so you equate the divisor to zero so you're going to have something like this and then your value of x will now just be equal to positive three so you write your positive three there and then you write the coefficients of uh, you write the coefficients of the dividend okay so the first coefficient we have for x cubed is one we have negative 10 for x squared and then we have positive 13 for x and then we have negative theta as the constant and then you bring down this one you bring it down here so you multiply three times one you get three when you add negative 10 uh, negative 10 plus 3 you get negative 7 you get negative 7 then you multiply 3 times negative 7 you get negative 21 then you add negative 21 negative 21 plus 13 you get negative 8 so here you get negative 8 you multiply 3 times negative 8 you get negative 24 then when you add the 2 you are going to have uh, negative 30 plus negative 24 you are going to have something like 54 so this is going to be this is the one that you have as your remainder and then these are the coefficients of uh, the what's this the, quad, the quadratic equation that is going to be your result so in other ways you can write it as you write your quotient so my quotient was x minus 3 then you write your quadratic equation in in what's this in uh, in what's this in brackets like so it's going to be x squared minus 7x and then minus 8. So we've been told to say q of x is the quotient. So you write it that way. Or oh, let me just write it on a bigger space. So I'm going to have it as x minus so i'll write my px i've been told to write my px in that form so i'll write it this way px is equal to and then i'm going to have x minus i'm going to have x minus 3 like that and then i'll write my quotient there so this is the first uh, co coefficient of the, the quadratic equation and then this one is the coefficient of x in the quadratic equation and then negative 8 is our constant in the quadratic equation and then plus r so my r is 54 so this is uh, simply uh, what they were asking us to do so let's quickly do the second question the second question you do it the same way we have done the first question yes so uh, I think the second question is simple because it's also not uh, that much complicated it's almost the same as uh, the first question so let me do the third question so the third question is saying the divisor is 2x the divisor is 
2x plus 1. So we equate this to 0. We're going to have our value of x to be equal to uh, negative 1 over 2. So what we do, we quickly draw uh, this. And then we have the coefficient of x cubed as 6. The coefficient of x squared as 1. The coefficient of x as negative 21. Uh, and then the coefficient of, I mean the constant is negative 10. I don't know why this has started happening. Okay. So we have something like this. Okay. So we write our negative half there. And then we bring down this 6. So we multiply negative half times 6, you get negative 3. So negative 3, you add it with 1, you get negative 2. And then you say negative half times half, I mean times 2, you get um, a positive 1. When you add the 2, you get a negative 20 and then you multiply negative half times 20 you get uh, a negative half times negative 20 you get positive uh, 10 when you add the 2 you get a 0 so this simply means that uh, this uh, 2x uh, plus 1 is a factor of this. A factor is a number that can go into another number without leaving a remainder. So it's a factor since it has given us the remainder 0. So you now write it in that form which they want us to write it. You say px is equal to uh, x minus k. You get that same 2x. Yeah. So if you want to, you can say um, if you want, you can just take the half to the other side of the equal sign, where you say it will just... Th so so this one is simply equivalent to x uh, plus half. So if you want, you can write... You can get x plus half and put it here. Or just simply getting 2x plus 1. It's just the same. So you can get x plus half. You put it there and then you write your q yeah you write your q qx which is this quadratic equation which is here which has the the coefficient x i mean six and uh, the coefficient of x squared to be is six and then the coefficient of um, x to be negative two and then the constant to be 20 and then you say plus zero our remainder is equal to zero so our remainder is just simply this last number here <coughs> so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial uh see you in the next tutorial video that we're going to have which is question three if you have not yet subscribed to the channel kindly do so so i've skipped question two because i mean i've skipped this question here this one this question here because it's similar to the first question all right thank you very much see you in the next tutorial video